Springfield Public Schools has 19 different sports. You will find just about every one of them engaged in summertime activities. Assistant Director of Athletics for Springfield Public Schools Marty Marsh says they constantly balance safety with state high school summer rules. MESHA PROVIDES 20 CONTACT DAYS WITH STUDENT ATHLETES um, AND THEN YOU'VE GOT WEIGHT TRAINING AND THAT SORT OF THING THAT'S ON TOP OF THAT. MARSH SAYS THEIR ATHLETIC TRAINERS HAVE THEIR EYES ON MANY THINGS DURING WORKOUTS. OUR MEDICAL STAFF THAT WE HAVE ON STAFF uh, DAILY AT ALL OF OUR PRACTICES KNOWING WHAT THOSE CONDITIONS ARE, HEAT, THE HEAD, THE HEART AND HEALTHY PRACTICES. THIS WATER TANK BEHIND ME HERE IS ONE OF THE MOST POPULAR PLACES DURING SUMMER WORKOUTS, BUT IT'S NOT THE ONLY KEY TO KEEPING THESE ATHLETES IN PRIME CONDITION. IT ALL STARTS WITH PREPARATION AND PREVENTION. DR. JIM RAYNER WITH MERCY SPORTS MEDICINE SAYS HYDRATION IS ONLY PART OF THE EQUATION. PEOPLE UNDERESTIMATE THE VALUE OF SLEEP. They underestimate the value of proper nutrition and consistent nutrition, equipment use, the amount of contact, the actual amount of minutes that's closely monitored. Trainers even keep an eye on water loss with daily weight checks before and after practice. If someone loses more than 2% of body weight in water, they are at a significant risk of dehydration and the associated heat illnesses with that. At the collegiate level, they stay in the dorms. They stay closely affiliated with their team, with their coaches, with their sports medicine staff. That doesn't happen at the high school level. High school kids go home. In Springfield. Yeah, it's, it's hot. Jesse Inman. But be smart about it. Colorton News. We'll have heat, we'll have humidity. It's the Ozarks. Ozarks first.